What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the speaker attachment for the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. Out of the three attachments that come included in the case when you purchase the Mavic 2 Enterprise, I thought that the speaker would have been my favorite, but the spotlight took the crown just because I was so impressed with how powerful the beam of light was. Now the speaker is the heaviest attachment weighing in at 61 grams, and while I'm at it, here are some of the other specs off of DJI's website for the speaker if you're interested. It's a pretty loud speaker for its size, although I think I would have expected a little bit more power to come from it. So the process to attach the speaker to the Mavic 2 Enterprise is the same as the spotlight and the light beacon. It can be done really quickly, which is nice for operators that are in a hurry or need to swap out attachments on the fly. On top of the drone is a small mounting area that has one micro USB port to deliver power and information to the speaker, and then it has two small screws to lock it into place. This ensures that it won't go anywhere even when the drone is flying at its top speed. Once connected, the home screen of the DJI Pilot app will recognize that the speaker has been attached, and when we head into the live view, Coming from the drone, there's a small little button in the top left corner marked by a microphone that is now visible. To relay a quick message and change the speaker volume, we can tap on this microphone, but to access some of the more in-depth settings, we'll tap on the three dots in the top right corner and then select the speaker settings. From here, we can add custom messages up to 60 seconds long that are saved on the device and can be played at any time. These different files are given a name and are perfect for saving common phrases one might always want to have saved. Another thing to note with this attachment is that while it may be the largest, it doesn't affect flight performance, which is a good thing considering that is the last thing that you want to sacrifice. All right, so guys, now I want to head outside, put the Mavic 2 Enterprise up in the air, and let you hear the speaker for yourselves. Now, I almost didn't even want to do this test just because you're going to be hearing the audio off of the speaker through my shotgun microphone and then through your computer. So it's not going to do it much justice, but I know that a lot of you guys are here just to hear what the speaker sounds like. Now, the Mavic 2 Enterprise is definitely a good drone to put the speaker on because it is so quiet. So if you're gonna be listening for what's coming off the speaker, you're not gonna get distracted by any prop noise. If you put this thing on like a Phantom 4 Pro or a Matrice, Good luck hearing it because the props would just totally drown out any of the sound. So for this test, I'm going to go back about 20 feet and then 50 feet and then 100, 200, 300, and then 400 feet. So you guys can listen to the speaker and just how loud it is at these different distances. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise speaker attachment. All right, so I hope that those tests that I ran sort of gave you an idea of how the speaker works. Again, it's not going to do it justice because it's coming through my microphone and then through your computer speakers or your headphones, whatever you're listening to this video on. I would say through my personal use, anything out of 100 feet, it begins to become inaudible. So if I get out to 150 or 180 and I begin actively listening for it, I can definitely hear what's being said from the speaker. But if I'm sitting there and I'm like a bystander and I don't even know a drone's in the air, I probably wouldn't even pick Pick it up. Something else that you guys may have noticed during those tests is that when I had the volume cranked all the way up to 100%, it started to sort of crackle. I mean, I could still hear what the speaker was actually trying to say, like what the audio was coming off of it, but it was a little bit rattly at that 100% volume mark. Now, I've seen some other reviews and I've also flown with some other people that have the Mavic 2 Enterprise and their drones, their speakers didn't have that same problem. So I think it's just an isolated issue with the one that I have. Now, I find that the speaker is the most unique attachment of available right now for the Mavic 2 Enterprise. The other two are lights and they serve their own purposes, but the purpose of this, this attachment, the speaker, is to relay messages and communicate with others. So I could see this being helpful for law enforcement as they try to communicate with armed suspects and they don't want to get close to them. Also with Coast Guard, maybe being able to go from boat to boat that potentially is missing or stranded and say, hey, help is on the way, we'll be there in X amount of minutes and then continue to update them as things progress. And also, let's say you find a missing person, the person piloting the drone can go 
up to that person and tell them that help is on the way. There really is a lot of different applications available for using this speaker on the Mavic 2 Enterprise. All right, so guys, that about wraps up everything that I've got for the speaker attachment for the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. I feel like there's not much more to say. I mean, I showed you guys how loud it is from those different distances, or at least I tried to. And I also gave you guys some different use case scenarios, but... I feel like there's not all that much to talk about because it's not as versatile of an attachment as say the spotlight was, which I uploaded a video on yesterday. Now, I will say I expected the speaker to be a little bit louder than I thought, right? So when I put it up in the air and I was relaying messages to myself in the very beginning, when I first got the drone, I was like, man, is that it? I thought you could take this drone, go over a crowd of say at a concert or maybe at a beach and be able to relay information down to those people. But if it's in a loud environment, the audio simply is just not going to to be loud enough. I'd say that the perfect use case scenario for this is being able to communicate with one or maybe a couple of people in a quiet environment. Say if someone's stranded on top of a cliff, you could fly the drone up to them maybe 10, 20 feet away and give them a clear audio message. Anyway, guys, I'd love to know what you think of the speaker down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.